Tonight's episode of Uni is rated M for mature audiences and contains frequent coarse language, nudity, sexual references and coarse humour which may offend. So, when you and Anna are having sex... <laughs> what goes through your mind? Do you, do you speak to yourself about something completely different? Or do you just talk to the on the sex? Do you actually think about her? What I'm interested in is how much you actually like her. Or is it just the sex, you know? Because when I was in high school, I mean, I, I, you know, when I was in university, I admit, you know, it was just the pussy that took me out. Well, it just seems to be turning out that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go and try and scam an extinction from um, my lecturer. He said, like, you're supposed to get extensions before you hand in the essay. But, um, one of mine's been three weeks late, and then, and then the other one, um, I haven't done it. I'm, I'm going to use the line that I've been a bit incompetent, and I didn't realise when it was due. And, and then I'll just go from there, and also say I was really busy. And then, because he, he knows my dad quite well, and then pull that string if, if all else fails. Oh, shit. Because he said it'd been every Friday. I'm going to go and ask where he is. Actually, this will be better if he's not in. Because I can just leave a note saying, I tried to find you, you said you'd be in. Lay the guilt on him. He's not in his office? Can I help you in any way? No, no, all I want is an extension. No, I'm sure. do you, I'd suggest the best thing to do is leave a note. Just, just leave a note, yeah. In his box. It's Friday afternoon. It's unlikely we'll find him before the weekend and do that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, Dear Rod, uh, I think I'd like to apply for an extension. I'm hopelessly confused about the dates that the government on as they say it's a Jew. I handed one in on Tuesday about Sub-Saharan Africa after realising that it was probably due in a few weeks ago. My other issue, which is on Petrov Affair, I think is due today, and so I'll hand it in today. I just hope I haven't got the two dates around the wrong way. I'll try and talk to you next week. You see, so it's sort of convoluted without being entirely dishonest. Oh my god, there's a whole lot of essays in there. Oh. Actually, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll probably, I think I might hand it in to his pigeonhole then. Can I give that to Rod Tiffin? Put that in Rod Tiffin's. Thanks. Life is not a series of gig lamps, symmetrically arranged. Life is a luminous halo, a semi-transparent envelope surrounding us from the beginning of consciousness to the end. Look within, and life, it seems, is very far from being like this. Examine for a moment an ordinary mind on an ordinary day. The mind receives a myriad impressions, trivial, fantastic, evanescent, or engraved with a sharpness of steel. From all sides they come, an incessant shower of innumerable atoms. And as they fall, as they shape themselves into the life of Monday or Tuesday, the accent falls differently from of all. It's the middle of the year at Sydney University, the beginning of second semester. With end of year exams still six months away, there's plenty of time for serious work later. 
Right now, it's showtime. Gladiators ping pong. You can have like lawn balls and gladiators. Lawn balls. And I've got two names. I've got two names. You have the indoor because this is a joke that I have with me. You have the indoor gladiators competition, and you have the names of the people are erector and and penetrator, and the women are called vulva and labia. <laughs> we actually get a few different groups working on it. Like Today, the Art Society are meeting. They're a group who seem especially active on campus. They're either busy editing newspapers, running uni politics, or heavily into theatre or comedy stand-up. This year, they're mounting the Arts Faculty's annual review opening at the Footbridge Theatre in 10 weeks. And like, it's yeah. really, co really sort of coarse things like being kids are really easy for reviews. Mm. Really fine things, really subtle sort of distinctions of character and so on. Just, you can't do it at reviews. Yeah, that's a I very much doubt we're going to come up with subtle and <laughs> no, no, but, uh, things. But, but you'd be surprised at how difficult some of the sort of setups that you might think of when you're doing a review sketch actually are to, yeah, to, yeah, to dramatize, yeah. you know, to perform. And I think things like kids and gladiators are so easy to yep. just make people do. And farting. And farting. Fart, I mean, yeah. My, my little brother's friend can um, put his fist in his mouth and kneel down on the ground and fart continuously. <laughs> Maybe we could get him to come along. <laughs> That's the whole second one. That's so cool. <laughs> and his name is Jamie Philp, so I mean, it's better. We don't want to be compromising in, in our artistic endeavours. That's beautiful. I reckon that should be a slogan. Compromising in our artistic endeavours. <laughs> no, 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 but like, like, a, like... Oh, that should be the, the slogan. Compromise. Compromise. <laughs>